Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do debounce in Roblox Studio. It's quite simple. All you have to do is pay attention and you should get it pretty quickly. It says right on the screen here what it does. So how to make an event not trigger multiple times. Yeah, just like that. So without further ado guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to be updated with my new videos. And like and comment if you did enjoy. Without further ado, let's go. Oops. What is debounce? So debounce is a short chunk of code that you can add into your script to easily stop events from running multiple times. In Roblox Studio, your humanoid is classified as different parts, not just like one unit. Meaning that if you make an event that fires when you step on a brick, when you step on the brick, the event will fire multiple times because different parts of your body is touching the brick, like your left leg, your right leg, and so on how it's helpful let's say you wanted to make a gold game where you collect gold every time you step on a brick and let's say you didn't want the play, play you didn't want the player to get lots of gold in one go then this is where debounce is helpful you can add debounce to add a cooldown so once the player stepped on a part they have to wait five seconds before they can get another piece of gold you can adjust this time to be how, however long you want and how to add debounce to add debounce it's not that difficult I'm going to show you in Roblox Studio right now. So let me just get out of there. Get that out of the way. And I can show you right now how, can you, how we can do debounce. So you won't need the toolbox. You won't need this. Just save space. But you will need the output. So make sure that's there. Alright, so pretty much what I'm going to be showing you is how to do debounce. So guys, let's go. So what you're going to do is you're going to insert a part into the workspace. Scale it up, maybe something like something like that. Yeah, and I'm just gonna make it look nice. Change the material to like I don't know. My voice is really going. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. anyway, um, we're gonna find a nice. I'm just gonna go granite, and I'm gonna choose a color. I'm gonna go yellow. That looks ugly. More like a sponge but whatever so what we're gonna do is inside this I'm just gonna delete that world we don't need that we're going to add a in script inside the part we just made and also make sure to call the part trigger just like that so we can make it make it unique to any other thing any other like parts in the um, workspace so in here we're gonna write the debounce script so we're just gonna write debounce script right up there just like that and now let's begin so what we want to do is we want to make it so oh and one more thing make sure you anchor this yes that's very important or it won't work so what we're going to do is we're going to write a small anonymous function so an un, an anonymous i can't i can't say this word for my life an anonymous function is when you don't actually give the function a name it's it's like it's like this just like that no no name no nothing so yeah i'm gonna show you how to do that so you're gonna go script dot parent we're saying script dot parent because the parent of this script is the trigger uh script dot parent dot touch so practically saying that when this part is touched i'm gonna connect it to the function and there we go just like that so now what we can do is we can make we can put all the code that we want to fire when so pretty much when we touch the brick all the code between oh sorry my headphone just turned off all the code between this uh, bracket and the end will fire when you touch a brick so for me just to make it simple i'm gonna do print hello world just like that and that's pretty much done so what we can do now that 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 should work when we touch it so we're going to go ahead and spawn into the game walk over to this part and we're going to go ahead and touch it and as you can see it says hello world but you can see this little time six next to it and the reason it's saying time six is that it fires every single time my body part touches it so have a look at this it's got my we've got right here we've got my uh, we've got my right lower leg my right upper leg left upper leg and left lower leg all of these parts are touching it 
at the same time. So that's why it's causing it to fire many times. So with debounce, you can only make it fire one time instead of making it fire multiple times. To make debounce, it's quite simple. What we're going to do is we're going to make a local, we're going to make a variable, we're going to call it local debounce. I'm going to set it to false. Um, pretty much we're just setting it to false means, um, pretty much means, this is a boolean, so it's true or false. Um, there's not really much explanation I can say on that. And then we're going to say if, in, it, this is inside the um, function, and our numbers function. If not debounce, if not debounce, pretty much saying if it's not true, then debounce is equal to true just like that so pretty much what should um just take this uh print hello world put it <coughs> inside here debounce equals to true so pretty much what should happen now you can stop here if you want pretty much what should happen now is no matter how many times we step on the brick it will only fire once let's go ahead and test it out there we go I'm walking over it, you can literally hear my keyboard, I'm walking over it many times, but as you can see, it stays at 1, it's not saying that time's free. So what we can do now, is, this is where like the gold game comes in. Let's say we want to get gold, like every, let's say we want to get gold every 5, every 2 seconds, how about that? Gold every 2 seconds, or actually just make it quicker, gold every 1 second. We can say, wait one and then all we have to do is write debounce is equal to false so that's simple and now we can go ahead and run the code and if we and when we hit it and we wait one second we can press it again so actually just to make this look more realistic we can do wait three seconds so spawn in the game step on the part so that and let's wait three seconds and as you can see it said times two right here so in conclusion debounce is helpful when creating events that you don't want to fire more than once or adding to a cooldown to something or or adding a cooldown to some when something ha can be pressed <laughs> yeah so hopefully my explanation made a little bit of sense if you didn't seem to understand then just right here there is a link to a um, dev forum post. Sorry, no, no, a um, um, a uh, I don't, I don't know. But it's a page that will show you debouncing, and you can actually make a fading trap. So yeah, uh, you also learn, and you also make something new. So guys, if this tutorial did help you, then make sure to like and subscribe, and comment down below if you have any tips for me. And yeah, on one more thing, I'm also thinking to make like a um part game part videos again like i did for the horror game series so if you do have any suggestions on what kind of video or series you want me to make then just let me down in the comments down below and maybe i, I can do it so yeah thank you so much guys for watching hopefully that made some sense and i'll see you in the next one goodbye